All right, welcome everybody on YouTube and also all the wonderful people here in Twitch chat uh, for our last deck of the day, uh, Rakdos Menagerie. I guess that's how we pronounce this this uh, word. Oh, sorry, Hawkeye. You want to be on the camera? There you go. Rakdos Menagerie. So uh, we're playing a bunch of one twos and three drops uh, that we can uh, be able to. Uh, be aggressive and attacking our opponent a bunch, and then whenever our creatures die, whenever they use a bunch of removal, we use Gruesome Menagerie to get them back and hopefully finish our opponent off. So that's the uh, that's the goal of our deck. Um, let's uh, let's do it. Let's attack our opponent. It's getting a little late here. This is our last deck of the night. So good thing we got this aggressive deck to hopefully end games quickly. <laughs> be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Yeah, maybe we want like one spawn of mayhem. I had like that, that one slot. I got like the, the one lava coil in the main. I could certainly see that being a, a spawn of mayhem. I think we need additional one drops. Ugh. Too priesty. That could be a spawn of mayhem. <laughs> mayhem. Uh oh, we got a red mirror. Um, Firebrand's awesome with Reaper also. So not gonna lava coil this thing. Uh, I don't want to trade with it yet. I want to play Reaper and then Firebrand kill the Banneret draw card. Okay, so much hair. What? Sorry. Come here. Let's see if our opponent wants to attack. Any suggestions on learning how to sideboard correctly? It's kind of tri trial and error. I don't know if there's any uh, great sideboard article too much. I know, let's see, this, um, that's an article series written by Reed Duke called The Level One of Magic. Uh, which is written teaching people magic. I think is there sideboarding in here? I think there is. Yeah. There's information about about the sideboard in there too, in the deck construction. So lots of lots of awesome um, components uh, to that very large article series. So recommend checking that out. If you're watching this later on YouTube and you don't have that link that I just put. Um, in the channel. You can find that uh, by just searching for level one by Reed Duke. It's on the wizard's website somewhere. I would not recommend going to the wizard's website and trying to find it from there. What are all these lands doing? <laughs> Opponent running goblin tribal? Well, this is a Viashino wizard, not too goblin-y. I can dream. <laughs> Good point. Ooh, light up the stage. That card's pretty good. So now I coil Banneret finally and play Priest. Really don't want them to put extra counters on things. We're not really necessarily a, a super aggressive deck. Um, our deck can can grind pretty well with the help of, uh, you know, 
Priest and Gruesome Menagerie and Midnight Reaper. Like, we are, we can play a late game with this. Yeah, no, red red is the is like the toughest matchup for our deck, kind of in general, because we are uh, a slower deck. Like our deck's aggressively slanted to to beat removal heavy decks. We're real good against removal heavy decks, but like um, with like a slow clock. But like the red decks that are like burning us and attacking us quickly and killing our things, we don't really stop them. Why not just load up on theater? Because uh, we want a, a high density of creatures to go with Gruesome Menagerie. Let's see if I can get back to saying that correctly. And, you know, Priest, we need a lot of creatures. Like, we need a lot of creatures in our deck. How can a card be slow? Yeah, it, uh... It could either have like a, a high mana cost, like a you know, cards that are like five, six, seven mana to, to play are slow. You know, like we wouldn't even be able to, to play a six mana card yet, and a lot has happened in this game, as you can tell. Um, that's a flood. And Use that lava coil too early. Hmm. Guess I want to be the control deck, right? So. Legion War Boss isn't amazing. There's so many cards that are just not too good in this matchup. Hmm. Or cards can be slow if you like need to untap with them for them to have like an impact on the game. K command. Can I get some can I get some K commands in here? That would that would be just nice. Nah, no, gutter, bone, gutter Bones is good, because I can keep getting that back. I don't need Ritual of Soot. I think Ritual of Soot, I, I want Ritual of Soot against, like, the, the white decks. Um, the mono white decks. Uh, or, like, mono blue, stuff like that. That's where I want Ritual of Soot. I don't really want it here. Hey, this looks a lot better. You know, last time we molded a six and just draw a lot of, drew a lot of lands. This time we actually get to keep a seven, and it looks pretty good. Yeah, sit against Golgari also that like with their explore creatures and wild growth walkers and stuff. Thanks, Aaron. Ooh, that's aggressive. All right, let's play Judith and hit him for a bunch. Seven coming on in, down to 11. The old 7-Eleven. Let's get this Marty Control deck up on YouTube.
Hmm. They're just gonna block the token. I guess I'll leave my options open. Um. I played one Hero of Precinct 1 deck. It was an Abzan deck. It was a 5-0 list. It did not feel too good. We did go 5-1 with it, but uh, I wasn't very impressed with the deck. And it had too many expensive cards and stuff for my taste. Not, not enough card advantage. Yeah, it went 5-1, but yeah, it didn't feel good. Our, our opponents uh, weren't doing a whole lot. And, you know, it was like one of those kind of things. War boss. Strike and Risk Factor. They're playing Risk Factor? Hmm. That's not, the, that's not something I would, I would expect. This deck needs more Ride of Bells and Lock. We actually... I, I wanted to play a Ride of Bells and Lock, but we ended up cutting it. Alright. Judith. Instigator. Firebrand. Enter. Man, Menagerie is sweet. Nah, this menagerie's the top end. That's that's the top end. That's that's good enough. I could see Angrath in the sideboard instead of like theater horrors or something, but that's pretty good. Yeah, that's why we got four menageries. We certainly want to draw it. Game three on the draw is going to be tough. Angrath is is Angrath has been really well positioned this uh, meta game. I, I agree with you. A um, lot of good two and three drops, especially like a lot of people playing uh, Hydroid Crisis, where you just steal their Crisis and kill them with it, and or make them sack it. It is it is good. All right, war boss on the draw in particular is going to be tough. Let's get a let's get a couple duresses in this matchup. Take up take their light up the stages. Maybe I want ritual sit on the draw. If they're a war boss deck. I think I kind of want these on the draw. I don't know where I want to put these in though. Um, do I, I guess I, I maybe just play this over theater. I don't, I don't need theater. Yeah, I don't, I don't need theater here. I'll get a third duress in. Did I only put one? Maybe I only just put one soot in, and I meant to put, and I didn't put in two. Oh, we are back down to 43 subs. Had some subscriptions finish out from last month. Um, Instigator. It's a fine card. It's not spectacular or anything. It's good with the Judith. Bottom. Dun, 
Da -da. Hmm. Gutter bones. They shocked my gutter bones. How rude. Hey, what's up, Hude? Bones is better or worse than Shambles? What card is Shambles? I, I, I think Gutter Bones is awesome. So it'll be harder for the Shambles card to beat it, but I don't know what card that is. Reassembling skeleton. Oh, yeah, gutter bones is miles better. Yeah, with the Simic deck, I had difficulty against um, difficulty against the aggro decks. Uh, mono red and mono white, especially mono white. Mono white's the the real problem. Without having any kind of sweeper or anything. Well, we don't have anything going on, but neither does our opponent, so that's pretty cool. Playing the Nia mid range, cool. Swapped out Growth Chamber Guardian. That's a good draw. Uh, for Incubation Druid, it's working out really well with the Ajani plus one. I could see that. I've been... I've actually been less... Oh, I sorry. I was talking. I should have played that. I've... Uh, yeah, I definitely should have played that Firebrand. Anyway, I've been less impressed with Growth, growth Chamber Guardian. I, was, I loved it immediately, but I've been kind of less impressed with it over time. But yeah, I definitely should have just played that Firebrand. Because I could have both Firebrands could kill the Judith and I draw two cards. So if they kill this Midnight Reaper, I don't really get to do that. Growth with Rhythm of the Wild, that is... That's a combo right there. Hmm... So we go to eight, seven. Ugh. So we're at seven, and they have a Judith in play and a risk factor in their graveyard. Oh, right, we're at five. I think can attack too. I can't go to three. I'm taking this risk factor though. So they can't cast it, but I, I could shock and cast the risk factor myself, but I, I don't think that's worth it. I'm just going to play some more creatures. Yeah, certainly punished by not playing the Firebrand. I wish I could would have just killed the Judith with my two Firebrands. Um, certainly punished there. Yeah, hopefully draw a removal spell for the Judith, for sure. 
But getting Risk Factor out of there and not letting them cast Risk Factor is a pretty big game. Ugh. Wow. What a what an awesome draw. Wow. Yeah, this is just a, this is a tough matchup for us. Oh, right. Sure. That's good timing there, deck. Good timing. Yeah, we were we were really dead. <laughs> Yeah, maybe the opponent will draw four lands. That could happen. Mardu Control was was really fun. I liked that deck quite a bit. And yeah, I did well with it with the 5 1. That's a turn. Well, let's get thing out of here now, because the flame of Keld next time. Because this is any red source, right? So Judith like just actually kills us. Yeah, they should not have they should not have attacked with that. We were just we were very dead. Cause yeah, like this thing would have this thing would have dealt what four four seven? Would have just dealt seven damage if they just Oh no, because the upkeep they doesn't it doesn't kill during the upkeep. Like this thing doesn't go off during the upkeep. Okay, okay. So we have to Shock? Do I light up the stage? Alright, so I could shock Judith. Then Judith kills my Daredevil. I could... Uh, I could, like, ping them for one, and then Daredevil light up the stage and draw two cards. I don't know what those two cards are really doing for us, though. I think I'm just gonna shock this Judith. Yeah, hopefully hopefully they get that land here. Don't kill me. Land. Hmm. Well, we're down to one. We could draw that ritual of said I boarded in. Grease of Menagerie would of course be the, the best block. But we're not dead. Uh coil. Coil doesn't do it. Uh You would be nice in our red black burn deck with all these with with, you know, light up the stage and all these things. Let's put a moment of craving in our deck. Don't we want to deal damage? No, 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 no. Let's let's get a moment of craving in here. Uh, opponent got me. 
yeah, this is that is like our wor- yeah that is our worst matchup, and we get we took it to three. And we stayed alive for a while, the third game. We weren't, like, close to winning, though. But we stayed alive for a while. Love this hand. <laughs> Hopefully we're not playing mono red again. Otherwise, this could be a quick league. So I can discard a gutter bones, draw a card, and maybe play another gutter bones as well. I'm just gonna play this thing. The okay, yeah, you, you love Orzhov, but yeah, the angels angels does require tons of mythics. That's that's for sure. I I personally like. Um, I personally like I just attack with Priest of the Forgotten Gods too. I guess I do get to draw a card. Personally I've been liking Mardu Angels more than just Orzov. Yeah, I I I can do song requests. That's part of the... That's in my donation panel. There. I just have to go find it on Spotify. So I add black black to the mana pool so I can play priest and gutter bones and they sacrifice and I draw a card. So we're basically just turning one of these gutter bones into Oh. that card that's a good card <laughs> yeah our opponent has protection from priest kind of with the all these afterlife creatures but we're still drawing cards for sacrificing the two creatures we still get to draw a card uh, add mana and ping them for two make them lose two life that's also good No, Sphinx of, of Foresight's not really that relevant in any deck. Oh, you, you liked it a whole lot? Oh, cool. 4 mana 4-4 four, four isn't really a, a good... Like, too good of a body for standard. Um... Mm 
There's no lands. Yeah. Gutterbones costs one mana and has two power. Both of those are um, miles ahead of what re what reassembling skeleton is. Like one mana versus two is just you know it's a it's a huge huge difference, and two power versus one is another really big difference. Straight and narrow, guessing all the time. Hmm. I feel like I should be activating this priest somewhere here. Like I could, you know, I could activate priest and, um, activate priest, cast menagerie, get my things back, kind of, th kind of thing. If I add two black mana. Yeah, the one one body on one one body is just really really weak, and especially for two mana. You you need two power, and you want it on you want it on turn one two power. That's a much more threatening card than waiting until turn two and only putting one power on the battlefield. Will I stream next Sunday? Even though it will be Super Bowl Sunday, I I guess I haven't decided yet, Eddie. I don't know. Maybe not. I guess. Yeah, actually, maybe not. The Mardu control deck was was really good actually. I, I liked it quite a bit. I thought it was uh pretty fun to play and and it was good. Like the removal is so good in Mardu. I'm attacking with this priest because I'm not doing anything else with it. And our opponent's close to dying. I don't know, I'm kind of tired of not doing things with, with a priest. Yeah, train the priest for the angel. So our opponent needs to have like an exile spell for Judith and a wrath. Huh. That's a card. I did not consider that card when I was saying what our opponent needed. Well then. Alright, let's say we attack with everything including Judith. They block Judith, go to 10. All these things reduce in power. They take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's lethal. What if I don't attack with Judith? 
I guess I don't need to really figure that out because we already determined that attacking with Judith is lethal. Um, if I don't attack with Judith, they block like War Boss. They take three, six, uh, three, six, nine, twelve. They they take more damage if I just don't attack with Judith. Alright, that one got sketchy there at the end. Got rid of this priest and then this Lyra was real scary. Yeah, so first first strike would kill the Judith first, then all my creatures' power would reduce. Um, man, I want like Playcrafter to deal with angels, but they kind of have protection with these afterlife creatures. Yeah, I can certainly see my opponent bringing in uh, Ritual of Soot, Cry of, Carnar Cry of Carnarium, Kaya's Wrath, any any or all of those. Um, do I change anything? Maybe I just take out Lava Coil and bring in a Play Crafter. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, Plague Mare would be nice in this matchup. There's not a whole lot of matchups where we really need Plague Mare, but this is one. A lot of things go bigger than one, than just like the 1 1 body these days. Yeah, I'm not sure if Theater of Horrors is for this deck, honestly. Should I be waiting for this attack before, like, wait to play Judith first? Wow. Well, I'm glad the opponent didn't block. Pretty lucky there, I think. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet. It's just, it's bad against the red decks. But we certainly struggled there. Please, no Dawnbringer. All right, no Dawnbringer. No Dawnbringer. Do y'all think they have Settle the Wreckage? Am I supposed to play around Settle? I guess I do. Maybe I shouldn't have, though. 
Never around settle. <laughs> I just didn't attack with the war boss. I attacked with the Judith still since we have a backup of Judith. It cost us four points, but Priest of the Forgotten Gods to be able to finish it out. And there we go, one and one. All right, coming back. We are on the comeback trail. Yeah, with having the the priests of the Forgotten Gods just shut off there out to Lyra. And I like how priest is I think priest is like any number of opponents, I think, so it doesn't target. So like you can still play it if they like, they play Shalai, you can still activate it and make them sacrifice and everything. Nope, no four color gates. This is the last deck of the day. Uh, these are the, the list of the decks here. We are at, right now at Rakdos Menagerie down at the bottom. Rawr. All right, we don't need all these menageries. We need some lands or something. <laughs> Matt has a good question. Do you think Hawkeye sits with you in front of the screen when you're streaming because he thinks you're talking to yourself and wants you to have company? Like, maybe. That's possible. Ooh, keeping the play crafter. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. How much guard the priest? That's a good draw. All right, two lands. Come on, deck, just draw two lands. Let's get to this menagerie, and the other menagerie, and the other menagerie. Oh yeah, Hawkeye does it all the time. Now those my leg head headbutts headbutts me all the time. I wonder if they got a land drop. Yeah, they really want to kill that gutter bone. Okay. Only need one more land. Okay, I kind of expect a contempt here. Like, I feel like our opponent, like, they just hit a land drop. Like, they probably have a card to play. Either contempt or other removal spell for this Judith. Like, they can, like, I attack in here. They contempt the Judith. They get a free block on the re Remadi. Um... But then we still keep the goblin around. No, they don't. They're not going to be playing Ritual of Soots or Cry of Carnarums, anything like that, in their in the main deck of their creature deck. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna get a two for one on me here with a contempt on a Judith, and blocking Remadi.
Oh, it's cast down. That's a whole lot better for me. It's a whole lot better for me that's cast down. Alright, now we just gotta hope that we... Our graveyard... Oh, they did have contempt. Weird. Uh, we gotta just hope our graveyard isn't bugged. Hope this works. Okay, it worked. All right, this, this, and this. I don't want the uh, Remodi because Remodi is a forced discard and I don't want to discard a Menagerie. Oh, they fixed that bug? Nice. And there we go. Menagerie FTW. So they are Golgari stuff. So I can Ritual of Sit them. They had like Contempt and Cast Down and Plague Crafter. They're certainly a s slower version of Golgari. That's the thing. Golgari can kind of be playing everything. Um, so basically, I like Coil and Soot. But I'm not sure how much of Coil and Soot I want. I think I like Soot over Coil in general. So I'm going to play one Soot. And that's it. Yeah, Dusk Legion Zealot. Perfect. You can play that for Remadi. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Rakdos Midrange. Yeah. I wasn't super thrilled about the Remadis in that deck, honestly. And Dusk Legion Zealot's a good replacement. Um, you can also go with... You can go with Goblin Instigator also. But I think I like Zealot. How do we finalize on the three drops outside of Judith? Um, really just playing like just a couple of the best three drops, like Warboss and, and uh, Midnight Reaper. They're they're just just two of the best ones in the in the format. You know, Reaper gets us our card advantage to allows it to allow us to continue to go with us having so many small creatures and we're hope we're hopefully on the aggressive side um where the life loss doesn't hurt us as much um and uh and yeah legion war boss is just an, an awesome threat against control and gets us can get us a lot of card advantage Alright, I will trade. 
I will trade a gutter bones and a remodi for a wild growth walker. I am scared of the wild growth walker gaining them a bunch of life. We do get to put the gutter bones right back in our hand. Hmm. Judith or War Boss? We unfortunately drew lots of lands there. You know, I used one Remani to discard another, but then it's just all lands. You know, I obviously regret not discarding a land now. Um, I was keeping the fourth land in our hand and maybe that's just not too necessary but yeah so I whenever I said Rix people would tell me it's not Rix it's Re so I'm going with Re because like that's what that's what people would tell me to, to go with All right, Menagerie is awesome. We get just a, no one drop to get back, of course, because our one drop's here on the battlefield. Um, do I want to get Re and Cycle or Priest of the Forgotten Gods? Just Priest, right? Yeah, I'm just going to get Priest. Ooh, attack first? Yeah, let's just go ahead and attack first. That's certainly reasonable. See if they block. If they don't block. You know, we get two points in. If they do block, we just get it back. All right, they're leaving Priest in play. They're leaving Priest in play. Target you. No, it's still it still is target player, so I guess so I guess the thing about dodging Shalai isn't isn't true from what I said earlier. This is a good engine. Yeah, Warboss just makes the tokens for Priest to sacrifice. Adds the black mana to get the Gutter Bones back. Uh, gutter Bones draws another card with the Reaper. Draw a card with the Priest also. Alright, we are 2-1. and one. <laughs> this deck is sick. I'm going to make a terrible version with half the cards. Love it. Do it. Rick Matty. Uh, it is getting late. Thanks, everybody, for staying here. Uh, hope you're enjoying the stream and having a good Sunday night. It's a lot of red cards and black lands. Those don't mix too well together. I know we need two more lands to get to uh, Menagerie, but we also need like other creatures and things as well. So shipping that fourth land to the bottom. 
2 p.m. in Monday for you. You're just... You're just in the future. Riss Matty. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get the attack for one in there. You know, Swamp, Swamp, Swamp. We don't know a whole lot about their deck. I could have sacrificed the Instigator and the Token and played Judith there. All right. What are all these lands doing? We scribed a land to the bottom, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Matt. Thanks. Too many lands. Nothing to do here. Thief of Sanity. Hmm. Well... So you're saying that I'm I'm out of sync? Did is that better? Or is that just like much worse? The good thing about Thieva Sandy is it does fill our graveyard for gruesome menagerie. So we do get to Yeah, you know, like they put creatures in our graveyard so we can, you know, hopefully get a three drop uh, back with it. Oh yeah, their their Twilight Prophet was tapped. I could have attacked. Certainly could have attacked. What they put over here? Two lands. All right, now we're going. Now we're going. Kill this thief also. Get those things out of here. Alright, I tried to fix it the other way. How is the is the lag better now? Um, and of course we have the Priest of Forgotten Gods that could be turned on next turn with the gutter bones and the token to make them sacrifice this Twilight Prophet. Okay. Just the audio's messed up a little bit. Gotcha. Judith. 
I assume that means they have a land, so they just cast the Judith, right? No? Huh. So they're just going to sacrifice the Twilight Prophet? Or are they sacking Hostage Taker and letting me get Judith back? Twilight Prophet out here, huh? Alright. Got opponent down to eight right now. We got our 19th sub of the day. Thank you so much, increased volume. Let's get some hype in the, in the chat for our new subscriber. Gutter Bones is awesome. Double Gutter Bones. Wait, should I attack first? I attack, they block. Nah. I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Alright. Down to 42 subscribers. And 19 on the day. If we get one more subscriber, we're opening up another pack. And Worf gets us there. Maybe they won't block this. Maybe they're too scared. Do you think this is one of those decks where if you don't have Judith, you lose? If you do have Judith, you win? Not really. Um, I think... Like, our other three drops... Like, all, all of our three drops, all 12 of our three drops are awesome. You know, war bosses win games. Uh... Midnight Reapers win games. All of our three boss, three drops are just great, and uh, with help of the Mena of Menagerie, we get it. We can get them back and everything. Um, I advise that you be well chosen. Fanatical Firebrand is better than Footlight Fiend in every way? Not necessarily. Um, not necessarily. Like, if you... If you sacrifice a, a Footlight Fiend to Priest of the F Forgotten Gods, you get to deal damage. If you sacrifice, you know, Firebrand to Priest, you do not get to deal damage. Um, so with, with Priest of the Forgotten Gods... But Light Fiend is a lot better. I don't even know what our opponent's doing. They're just playing like some blue and black cards. Well, they have a they had a Karn. I'm gonna play this Di a Direfully Daredevil over the Lava Coil. What do you think of Lazav and an Esper list? You sir, you need good creatures for to um, really take advantage of a Lazav. You want to be able to copy uh, good creatures that that don't just have like enter the battlefield effects because you don't get the enter the battlefield effects with the with the uh, um, with Lazav. So you want things like like Thief of Sanity or uh, like basically, the, like the cards that the opponent was playing, uh, Thief of Sanity and the Twilight Prophet. Um, 
yeah, I'm certainly going to be playing Angels again this week. Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure I'll be playing an Angels deck tomorrow. Okay, five card hand. Let's see what we can do. Well, we're down a card. Yeah, it was Mardu Control earlier. Um, you can find it here in exclamation point decks. It's my stream decker link, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um, I don't know of any win rate calculations from like seven versus six versus five. I don't, I don't know if, I mean, I'm sure that that changes deck by deck, format by format and everything. Time to get a new hand. So we're kind of even. Um, you know, they have four cards. We have three. Both have four lands. We're not like doing the worst. There's nothing over here for for Lazav, right? Yeah, no, nothing over there. Ah, not a razor. Looking for our three drops. Um, Midnight Reaper would probably be the best one. Yeah, Lazav can become a thief, uh, which is really nice. Of course, they need a, a thief to be dead for that to happen, but that's certainly really nice. Deck's not helping us out. Come on, deck. That's probably just going to do it. I don't think I can beat Twilight Prophet here. Power two or less. I have... Um, I guess if I draw the Dire Fleet Daredevil, which I think I should... I, I should board in the other Daredevils. If I draw, if I draw Daredevil... Um, I can gain control of their Twilight Prophet. I can, like, you know, Daredevil connive, because it's power two or less. I can take, like, these creatures with two power. So I lose four life and then gain four life. Oh, and Hostage Taker. All right. Let's get this other Daredevil in there. We can... Uh, you know, take their thought erasures and stuff. 
not sure about the priests. Hmm. Maybe I try theater of horrors. Yeah, lava coil is fine, um, but I think we can kind of do without it. Let's try these theater horrors. Well, if we get one land and we get to start playing these theater horrors, you know, just go in turn three theater, turn turn four theater. And just going from there. This is um, intriguing. Well, dare so Daredevil is on your opponent's cards. You don't take your own instants and sorceries. You use your opponent. So we get to use their thought erasure, their discovery, their connive. Uh, basically, we can use their removal spells to kill their own creatures or like thought erasure. It's really good against the blue black decks in that sense. No, I'm not real big on firebrand artist. Hmm. Yeah, I want, so I want the Midnight Reaper in the graveyard because of the Menagerie. The Thief Sandy will help us fill our graveyard also. If we can play Judith um, and have the theater active where we can get the Firebrand. You know, Firebrand can kill Thief of Sanity. And looks like that's what we're going to be able to do here. I have been Perfect. uncertain of your decision. Perfect. Alright, so we'll play Judith. Attack them for three. Get the, these things. Go ahead and firebrand. And kill the thief. So we have uh, one drop, three drop in our graveyard right now. I got absolutely destroyed by a nickel bolus control mill deck today in best of three. Am I just going to ignore Karn? I think so. I'm playing Theater Horrors. I probably should not ignore Karn. Um, just normal things that that uh, you want to play against. Um, control. Sticky Threats. Instigator. Um, 
So my, my two drop is direfully Daredevil, which of course doesn't really get anything back. Um, I like getting the war boss on the battlefield is probably is going to be more beneficial than the menagerie. And I, I want the forgotten gods out there too that I can uh, be able to sacrifice, like the token that war boss makes and everything. Yeah, our opponent should certainly be playing Cryo the Carnarium instead Jesus of Golden Christ. Demise. Ugh. Eight spells to discard cards, yeah. That happens. Um, yeah, it certainly happens some games. It is it is frustrating. Sorry, Menagerie. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this Karn. Ooh. Okay. All right, so we're gonna have a good turn here because we're gonna get Daredevil, um, Firebrand, Judith. Daredevil is gonna be able to get this Thought Erasure, so we'll be able to Thought Erasure our opponent. And go to combat. Do I even sacrifice stuff with Priest? Yeah, I have to. So I have to sacrifice these creatures because um, I want to add the two mana because I want to add the two mana so I can be able to Thought Erasure. We'll just kill the Instigator. Oh, the two mana is just going to get wasted though, isn't it? So I guess I'm just doing this. Right, it, it doesn't, it's not like... It's not like the um, other spells where the two mana say stays. You are acting unwisely. Yeah, I'm in combat. I would have had to sacrifice earlier, so I should have just. So in that case, in that case, I should have just used the firebrand to kill their their blocker and just attack Karn and kill Karn. But we're still doing okay. We're doing okay. At least they didn't activate their Karn first. And then Karn at three. This will not. You are only hurting your farewell. And thank you for the lesson. Alright, Theater Horrors. Well, I wouldn't have activated Priest. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I should have activated Priest. I think I should have just used the Firebrand to kill their blocker and attacked with Priest. That's what I was saying. Just a bunch of golden demises. Those don't kill Twilight Prophets. Thraxel Wolf with the tier one sub. Welcome back, Thraxel. Thanks for resubbing there. Gets us up to 21 on the day, 40 to go. Is this that's a mountain? We back. Mostly just want the, the land drop. Hmm. 
There it is. There's your tie. Alright, how are we going to beat this Twilight Prophet? So, I attack with Reveler, they block with Prophet. Or Spawn. I guess they're blocking with Spawn. And then I Daredevil Golden Demise. Um. They still get to keep Twilight Prophet alive. Yep, there he goes. Takes like 30 seconds. Song should come up. Twilight Prophet's still going to gain them a lot of life. Still going to be tough for me. We're looking for another Menagerie. We've seen... Uh, what, two Menageries so far? Yeah. We're looking for another. Game's not looking good for us though. Um, I don't really know how the deck matching thing works, JPC guy, and I it's not in best two out of three, so I, I haven't really noticed it. I think it's only a best of one thing, or maybe it's a ranked thing. I'm not really sure how that works, but I in these in these little tournament things that I play here, like these these things where you play until you get five wins or two losses, uh, they just kinda play you you just try to pair you against somebody with a similar record, uh, the closest they can in a uh, quick time. Any advice on a good or reasonable price deck in standard? Me and my friend can't decide what he should play for the Baltimore team event. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, like, there's... I'm not sure exactly, like, especially price-wise. Um, but there is just so much you can be doing in standard right now. And standard's still open. Um... Mono red is good, and it's cheap. Hmm. There's a menagerie. So many gold demises. Yeah, so we basically have all of our cards to choose from here. This doesn't really matter what we what we take here. We're dead. If I if I had three more mana, you know, if I would have just had like the menagerie in my hand and not have to like spend the the mana to activate to get it, um, I could have got golden demise, and golden demise with my ping things maybe could have like maybe I could you know I could maybe stabilize. With their golden demise. Yeah, in hindsight, I definitely should have... I don't know, should, but definitely could have played Lava Coils. Um, 
for Twilight Prophet. Twilight Prophet has been annoying. Trying to keep like my creature base. I don't want to just have lots of spells, kind of thing. I wanted to keep my creature base and stay a little aggressive, but didn't work out. Yeah, it certainly could have seen, like, you know, obviously how that played out. Lava coil looked like it would have been a better option. Yeah, maybe we need some bombs be besides Gruesome Menagerie for the sideboard. I don't think I played that, you know, the best. Um, I think it's a good core, though. I think there, you know, needs to be some tuning. I, I think don't think my sideboard's perfect. Uh, but, like, the three drops are awesome. Menagerie's awesome. Priest is good. One drops are good. I don't love Instigator or, or, or Reveler. I don't really love these two. Um, but yeah. Spawn of Mayhem is really good. Maybe maybe this could just incorporate Spawn of Mayhems. Maybe we just don't even play. Uh, like Honestly, like maybe this isn't worth it. Maybe we could just go a little more spell heavy with like Lava Coils and play Spawn of Mayhems and Angrath. Like, maybe Angrath is just like the better card than, than Gruesome. Um, but... Yeah. All right. Uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video.